here back again with our video today. Today's a different episode or in our video. Today we'll be doing a car abandoned car location today. Today I have Nissan Sylvia S15. Uh you already know I forgot how to pronounce the name, but it's the noise bomb S15, it's a drift car. Uh, I forgot the character's car, I forgot who drove it specifically, but uh I know this car was very good so I'm very interested in how it feels. I think it's gonna be one of the good drift cars as well, especially because the skyline was very well. And here comes the um, the guys that I hate the most of. The guys that want to kill me and destroy my entire life. And look at that, already. They, they didn't give me a chance to even get myself prepared. They're instantly taking T-bones and everything. Well, here you go. <laughs> All right, here you go. Yep, he took an L Nair. <laughs> oh, say goodbye. And I'm just gonna... And it still works. Managed some, some way I managed to even get out of here. So some of these kids are very annoying, to be honest with you. All right, now we're on the road now. This is where the car exceeds at. Especially for drift cars, because drift cars are not good off road. Especially in this game specifically I'm talking about. But it, it does apply in a lot of things in well, other games, but the game specifically. Dirt and drift cars do not mix. That's one thing I gotta say. Dirt and drift cars do not mix. One bit. And I wish I could tune this thing right now. One thing I found to be kinda of annoying is you can't tune on a jump when you like any of your bears or something. Like you literally could be driving and tuning your car at the same time. That'd be perfect. That's like some fast viewers type stuff, just sitting there tweaking, typing computers or whatever, while sitting there just really driving, perfectly turning corners. I understand why I didn't do that, okay, it'd be kind of, but it's a good way to test your cars and see how it feels on a certain track. To base your car off of that track specifically, but, man, that's all racing games are today, so, I mean, I can't even see one thing I wish you could do is teleport, but never mind, it wasn't gonna let you do that, so. This guy's gonna take the racing line a lot, that's why you guys see me going out outside and hit the apex. But outside here, hit the apex, and go back out wide. Never mind, good. Alright, can, can y'all let me live, please? All right, yeah, these guys are very brutal, especially because you know, how brutal they are. Kind of brings a lot of memories. That's the most wanted 05. Also, I play Need Speed World, Soapbox. So if I'm gonna see and tell you guys about something, uh, Soapbox is basically a modern form of I guess, company or something. Not company, but all of it. Yes, I don't know. They basically decided to get back. These people up and running, get the servers up and running. Uh, the main company of the game abandoned the game or destroyed the server or cut that. Pretty much turn off the server. Uh, so online was completely destroyed. At the time. So I guess in our company, Soapbox, they say, hey, we made this game what we need to be. They call it Soapbox Race World. Same thing, Miss Speed World, the same thing. It's Miss Speed World, but it's called Soapbox Race World because Soapbox. Had the right to it. They did the server and everything, make the online work again. And I'm very thankful they did that because right now I'm destroying the game. He barely can't even beat me. I mean, I'm just wrong with him. But um, I think that game brings back a lot of memories, the customization. I'm gonna do it like like a long video on it. But um, that video will be some soon, some later. And hopefully, we could do future updates on the game. That'd be very cool because a feature update on a game would be very nice. To see where that game will go after not being online for like three or two years. I'm not sure how long it was. I played it before, late, like later on in the release date. Like it released like real late, like 2014 or 2012 or whatever. I don't know when, but whenever when it did, I think it was 2016 or 15. No, I thought. I think it was 15 or 14 when I started playing it. Yeah, it was 14. I'm not sure when I started playing it. I played it like a couple of years after I heard about 
years after the game came out, but I didn't know about it at that time. I was very young. I was good at the game. I was very decent online. And one thing I have to say about the game is they made it where the currency in the game is more better, but more in the, in the actual full game itself. You get like around 5k, 6k, now you actually get like 300, 400k for like the, like the little super long pursuit event. It was very interesting. I was like, wow, thank you for doing that because the currency in the game, it should have been like that since the start. Like, for people who wants to sit there for 20 billion hours and grind, if you really want to sit there for 12 billion hours just to get money or get a car, you waste the time. I'm not going to sit there for 12 hours. Especially because it's pretty much repetition and it's like it gets really boring. And seeing how far the game came, the game got better since the uh, they took over. So, box took over. so hopefully they could do updates, new cars or whatever, new model cars or whatever. Whatever they could do to make the game improve, I'll be very well. It will be the game, I miss that game. It's played 24 7. And I start playing it now, so hopefully I'm gonna be playing after this when I get off my Xbox. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be very, very, very cool. So hopefully we see more of that in the future because this is gonna allow us to play the game in a very nice. And now we're de dealing with cops who love. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. See, that's what I'm saying. Dirt and um, drift cars don't mix. There's one thing I gotta say, dirt don't mix, drift car is gonna mix. If you have a car that has no traction already, why put it in, in a surface it? A compound that has literally dirt to not travel, they get grip. And it actually worked now, for some more reason, because before, yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm done. I drove 10 miles! You, you know what? I, 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 I'm very disappointed right now. I am very, very disappointed. Literally, right there, I decided to... You know, okay. Okay. Um, so you guys wondering why I start editing my videos? Like, really, like, sit there and like, okay, let me go edit. The main reason why, because it got really boring. Sitting there and editing for five hours, five hours of dropping video. I am at this point where I'm like, okay, drop a video, and drop a video. But it depends on how I'm feeling. Because a lot of time I used to be like a kind of person who just love to edit every video, and now I'm like, you know. The reason why, because it got at the point where it's like, it's some file downloading, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to. If it's not my computer, so I'm trying to upload videos and I know especially this one. I don't care at this point. Like I could literally shorten the video down, cut it down, whatever, jump cuts, walk right through it. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. You know what I'm saying? I'll definitely do that. I have no problem sitting here for a five hours editing. But it's just sitting there for 20 minutes. Literally just editing a video, not so hopefully this time we successfully grab the car because that ended very badly and um, I was not expecting that because before it was not supposed to happen like that I was not supposed to get kill switch but it seemed like you're going dirt you're more likely to be dead you're not going dirt again <laughs> so I'm staying a little you guys wondering why I have not been posting? Yes, in school. Yes, school. Myself in high school. And, um, as much as I want to sit there and upload, I'm not. Uh, my schedule is going to change. I'll make a video on that this weekend. A channel update and what I want. You're probably seeing at least three or four videos. I'm going to do two times a Those three videos are going to be Monday and Thursday. If the other two days, like weekends, doesn't go well for me, I'm like, okay, I got a lot of work to do, then you won't see me upload at all, because I am planning to make at least 8, 10 different videos in the weekend, get them all ready and prepared, and then schedule them, once you schedule, 
tags and everything, description, title, everything done. Everything. Orders are done. Dropping one. Monday and Friday. Yeah, I always think about Monday and Friday. But, but I'm dropping videos on days that you would not expect to have a lot of work. You expect to have a lot of work in the middle of the week. Unless you have an early release, then uh, the story and story, then you can simply be like, okay, the early release can be like, okay, I drop a video on Wednesday. But it all depends. So um, I don't want, I don't know what, what content you guys want to watch. I am slowly transitioning the channel back into cars because that's why I grew up on. That's why I am going to be an automobile engineer, and I want this channel to be around cars. But due to the lack of Found you. racing games nowadays, that's why I'm trying to find games. A lot of racing, mobile racing games specifically as well. I play, I play real racing free, but that game is kind of just like at this point, so I'm not really interested playing that game because my phone is not optimized for that. If I have an article, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, yeah, definitely. But right now at this point, I'm just gonna stick with playing certain games, not seeing or wasting my time. And trying to different okay, I'm trying to be me. I'm not trying to sit here and be like, oh, make a game, be on this. I'm gonna make things that's most enjoyable to me. And, uh, and next video we'll do an actual challenge. A bumblebee versus something I am, I'm not sure if anybody did that and used to pay back. But if they did, I don't care. But still, I came up with this idea in my head like driving. I was driving a Camaro a while ago and I just it came up in my head was like I should definitely use make a bumblebee video. All the ideas are surrounding around the game mainly, so... But these guys are really ruthless, and how they drive, This is on easy difficult. I played the campaign in difficult mode, hard mode, and then towards the end, I decided to switch to easy because I didn't know. I mean, I was still would beat the game. I'm, like, if you guys want me to do, like, a whole walkthrough of the campaign, a whole walkthrough again, then maybe, maybe, then maybe I do completely difficult. I definitely can do that. I could definitely sit there and um, officially. I'm gonna say clear all my data of this account too. I was thinking about changing my name, but since how Xbox is now, you had to buy or you had to pay to change your game with that, which is kind of stupid. Because that allows me not to be able to do things that I wanted, like put my name, and now I'm boxed in. I can't. This is not good. Oh God. I I, I can't do this. Literally, I'm driving straight. Is is this really how this game gonna treat me? Is this gonna be a legitimately 20 minute video? Me dying the cops like. This is why I hate this game. The cops are annoying then I'll say most of, they're annoying. They're not hard, they're just annoying. That's what I'm saying. They T-bone, they do everything. Like make it where it's fair, at least let me escape. Not box me in. That's the thing. Each speed always have those insanely overpowered cops who destroy your entire life and your family just to get the car there. Just to get you in the jail. They will do anything just just to get you in jail. That's what I'm going. At this point, I'm just gonna jump over it. It's, it's crazy. But also, this these car, this car, I to be honest with you, the abandoned car in this game is very bad. And you guys wonder why I'm doing abandoned car videos? Because a lot of people, I'm guessing you guys wonder uh, the reason why. Because I'm gonna always post abandoned car videos because a lot of YouTubers do that as well. Especially a big one. Uh, I, th I think it's a good thing to do because you get what? You get abandoned car location, so I get the location. It's not my idea, but um, I guess I was gonna give people location on the car and then they watch my video if they want to. I'm not here, I'm here to have fun on YouTube, do what I gotta do. I get million views, I get million views. Simple as that. I get paid, I get paid. You know, write it off, show it off, whatever. That, that's in the future.
is and is like when I get older. This is a very fast car. I'm definitely make this my drift car. I'm not gonna upgrade or anything. Not yet. Because I don't play this game that much often anymore. Because the reason why? Because this game got no content. To it. Only time I play this game when there's a banning car out. Because I can make a video on it. And that's the only way I'm gonna make on it. Unless this is a funny video or some form of enjoyment to the game. At this point, a time in this game, the game is at a point where it's dead. The game is pretty much dead. And I'm not gonna see him be like, oh, I hate these paybacks. The game was okay when it was in story mode, it was fine and everything. As soon as the game was ended, that's when I was planning to keep this one player. All these updates, I was so happy for the updates, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I saw how boring it is. It got after like maybe an hour playing the game. I was like, yeah, at this point, I'm just done. Because I am losing it, the, the mentality of even touching the game at all. This is actually a good way to actually trick the cops into like jumping off. You can literally trick the cops into jumping off. And they drive up, which is kind of stupid. Because we can't do that, can we? No. Making cars broken, they can do everything now. It's kind of stupid because what about how they get to drive off roads and we can't as players enjoy the open world? I thought it was an open world game, I thought it was a game where you could go, there's no barriers or anything. Like Horizon, I swear that that's what it said. And if that's not the case, then that's the story, but it is the case that they even said it. Why is there no, why are there barriers that not supposed to even be here in this place? Because we should be able to drive down mountains, go down hills, go down through trees, through hills. I mean, we could do anything awful in trucks. The amount of things this game would have had, only if the, the developers knew what they're doing, and actually bring new ideas to the game, the game would have been solid. I'll give it like a solid, right now, at this point, I get a a six out of ten. And I'm not gonna see him be like, okay, oh, I love this game. I do love this game, but love it at a certain extent. And the only extent I I'm not that person be like, okay, this is my friend. I'm not gonna say that until I know it's my favorite movie. Because certain games could be your favorite game, but you don't know if it is until you play it for a while. Move, go, go, go. See what I'm saying? Look at that, literally. All these effects with the blue and red lights. Like, come on, man. Like, stop with these extra stuff. We could have been focused more. That's what a lot of the game coming is focused more on is the story. Too much. And I understand you trying to incorporate, especially if you're a starter. 
you start in the game, you just start in the game, then yeah, fuck in the store, but you gotta put as much effort into the store as well as the multiplayer. If both are not solid, or at least make the multiplayer solid. Mul there's more people on multiplayer than there is campaign. And the reason I'm saying that, okay, that's the 100% fact. Night, a large amount of the audience who play video games specifically, I've never, I've never seen the lock of audience, the large amount of audience who do play campaign are small. I mean by small, like at least 2% of people play racing game campaigns or like campaigns in general. It depends on what racing game we're talking about. But, it depends, but being 100% with you is kind of stupid at this point, but I mean, Hopefully you get there because right in there, right there. You're really out here ruthless. These guys are really trying to take me out right now. Yeah, take him out because I don't want him no more. In my business. Like, get off my road. See, these guys are really annoying. By me, my annoying, I mean annoying. And they have NOS. This is even worse. <laughs> they have rivals. Cops are just annoying in terms of abandoned cars wise in this game. Cops are just not good in like regular campaign wise. They were decent. They're not, they're, they weren't that broken, broken. They were broken mainly in, in the like abandoned car location finding thing. And it's very sad, but now we're. We finally took an entire decade just to get this car to the location. After a amount of fails and cough checking. It was some close calls and flipping cars as well is a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, SR20 for your life, man. SR20. But, um, yeah, but this game is fine. I mean, it's, uh, I'm probably going to drop the rating to like a 5.5 at this point. I just found the game to be like a multiplayer. If the multiplayer is good, it probably I'll give like a, a 7 or higher. Anything above a 7. But right now, it seems how bad it, the multiplayer is, it kind of ruins the fun of the game. And it kind of nice makes me there. think that this game will not become a... But, um... Other than that, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk because I don't know how you guys really feel about this video. I think it's going to be fine, but um, I'm just going to drop this video because I don't care about all this editing fancy stuff right now because right now I'm just trying to chillax and relax my brain, especially because we're in school now, so it's like, yes, it's going to be a totally different story. Editing's not my priority no more at this point. It's literally not my priority takes time so I'm just gonna sit here and be like look at the screen but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video it was, it was nice uh, making the video there's some bad moments there and then I might do the jump cuts and stuff and that's about it I'm not sure I might just drop it like this I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video 23 minute video actually hope you guys enjoy actually 24 minutes now hope you guys enjoy drop a like if you're new and uh, subscribe for this beautiful car because um, there's some bad things that happen in this thing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Drop a like and new. Peace out. <laughs>